Hello, in today's video, we are replacing our capsule with this cool looking character and also apply animations onto it. So, let's get started. As you can see, I have simply replaced my capsule with this cool looking player graphic uh, with the wearing. Uh, bag and hat. <laughs> this is from mixamo.com. You can check out some cool looking uh, characters and animations in mixamo.com. So I will highly recommend you to check out mixamo.com. Okay. Currently, uh, we have our player without any animation. So you can see there are no animations applied. So all our previous logic are the same. Our player will only have uh, animator component. So let's create a script to handle all our player animations. Let's create. Name it as animation progress. Okay. We also need to create an animation controller. This controller will handle all our uh, animation state. So let's create and name it uh, player animation controller in short anim. And just double click to open our animator window. Inside animator window, we need some parameters to handle our animation state uh, let me create one is for grounded uh, simply called is grounded and uh, one is for horizontal movement and uh, one is for vertical movement and last one is for jumping so let me quickly create these parameters we need a blend tree to control our player movement so I simply create a blend tree and name it as moment inside this blend tree we need some uh, animation fields called uh, motion fields and uh, let me check first uh, what we have in our animations so let's check So we have one idle animation, one jump, one running, one walking forward and one is for uh, walking right. Okay, uh, we don't have any uh, running forward right and running forward left. So don't worry, uh, don't worry, we will create these two animations using our running animation. So let's create these two animations. So. So inside our player running animation, we will simply add another animation and name it as uh, uh, running forward uh, left. Okay. So we need we need to simply uh, rotate our root transform rotation uh, around 45 maybe. Uh, let's check this value i think 45 is too much uh, Thirty-five. 35 is also too much let's try 30 uh, i think 30 is good for me and similarly we need our forward running right animation. Now we have our both animations running forward right, running forward left. Let's hit apply. And there we have. And uh, let's quickly fill uh, these motion fields. Uh, I will simply create 
seven motion field and uh, fill them out. We have to select uh, these two parameters uh, which we have created. One is vertical, one is horizontal. So our horizontal is uh, position X and uh, Y is uh, our vertical position. So I have simply reversed the for forward fork animation. So here you can see I am minus uh, putting minus one here. So the animation will. Uh, play into reverse order so we will having our back animation moving back animation okay, we can preview this all seems good okay this is good for me okay now we need to create uh, another uh, animation field for our jump animation so I simply called it jump and drag my jump animation from this folder so let's drag onto our jump okay let's create some states transition so inside this transition we do not want any exit time so because uh, we uh, when we are moving and press jump button uh, we we want immediately to get inside the jump state so that's why we don't want any exit time we need also this jump animation when we are not on ground and we simply go back to our moment state when we are on ground Now let's jump into our animation progress script and write some code. So let me have our player inputs and player motor and uh, getting these component inside a wake function. Now we also need one animator component reference. Here I am using integers. Uh, and convert our parameter into integers because the strings are very inefficient and they take a lot of memory uh, so that's why I'm converting our parameter uh, these are our parameters uh, which we have created inside our animator Inside FixedBit, I am creating a function uh, named player animation and extract method using uh, Visual Studio Quick Actions and uh, calling our parameters. I want to create a variable, a constant variable which is a boolean and use it instead of using true and false everywhere. Inside our player motor uh, when we are moving backwards we need to decrease our speed so uh, when player moves backward he need to slow down 
I'm using a ternary operator uh, because uh, they will use uh, less space and these are same as uh, if else statement Here I found a mistake. I am calling this get component into the parent game object, but our animator inside uh, uh, is inside player slot as a child. So we need to write get component in children. Uh, so after attaching our script, uh, let's play and see what happened uh, let's hit play and we simply forget to drag our animator controller inside animator so that's why animation is not playing so let's drag our animator Let's hit play. Okay, our player is now in air because we uh, we don't write any is grounded statement inside animation progress. So let's quickly write our player motor dot controller dot is grounded checking. Uh, I forget to uh, tag as public. So let's quickly tag our controller as public animation is working but I think I misspelled something uh, let me check vertical vertical is right I think inside animator yes there we go here vertical spelling is wrong so make sure to spell it right now I think everything is working fine yay we have created our layer animation now everything is working fine our player is uh, animating correctly so hope you like this everything is working fine jumping is working fine Running forward, running forward right, running forward left. All is working good. So, thank you for watching. I see you in the next video.